Hello everyone. Welcome to PAX Virtual Valentine's Experience. My name is Missy Hillock and I'm the owner of Chateau Bourbon Bed and Breakfast located in Norton Commons and we are also a fellow PAC member and I am excited to be demonstrating for you tonight a great bourbon cocktail that you're going to enjoy while you are preparing and eating your three course dinner that is going to be demonstrated by some of our other fellow pack members. The cocktail that I'm demonstrating is called a Cupid Sour. Isn't that a great name? And we are going to go through our ingredients list, make sure we have everything. I have uh, written the recipe for you for two cocktails because what's better than one cocktail than two cocktails, but I'm only going to be preparing one. So as I demonstrate, make sure you're following the recipe for either one like I'm doing or two if you've got somebody to share it with you. Because after all, it is Valentine's Day or Palentine's Day or Galentine's Day. So whoever you're celebrating with, hopefully you'll have someone to enjoy this delicious cocktail with. So let's get started. Let's make sure we've got everything we need. First, we wanna start with the bourbon, the most important ingredient. And you can pick your favorite, whatever you've got on hand. We're gonna use one of my personal favorites, Jefferson's Reserve. And Jefferson's, the Visitor Center for Jefferson's is located in Kentucky Artisan Distillery, and they are one of our fellow pack members. So we're gonna use some Jefferson's. If we're gonna make a sour, we're going to need some simple syrup and some lemon. That's what allows us to make the sour from scratch instead of using mixers that are gonna be filled with other things that aren't simply natural ingredients. So I've made some simple syrup, which is just equal parts sugar and water. You simply dissolve the sugar in the water, warm it on the stove a little bit to get it to, to dissolve in. And then you can actually keep it in the fridge, keep it as long as you need it until it's gone. And I like to use empty bourbon bottles for that sort of thing. So we've got our simple syrup, our lemon, I'm gonna use half, but if you're making two cocktails, you're gonna use a whole lemon. And then an optional ingredient is some bitters. I'm gonna use a few dashes of orange flavored bitters. If you have bitters, great. If you don't, it's no big deal. Or if you have other flavors, um, regular aromatic bitters would be good. Um, and some other, um, you know, whatever your flavor of choice would be just fine, but it's also not necessary. And then our secret ingredient to making the Cupid Sour so pretty and festive is going to be a little bit of dry red wine. So let's get started. The first thing you'll want to do is grab your shaker and make sure you've got plenty of ice in there. And then you're going to want to get your rocks glass or two rocks glasses if you're making two cocktails and go ahead and fill that with ice so you're ready to strain into it. And then we're going to mix up the drink. So I'm making, like I said, one cocktail. So I'm going to do two ounces of my Jefferson's. And then we're going to do one ounce of simple syrup. So if you're making two, you're gonna do two ounces of bourbon. I'm sorry, four ounces of bourbon and two ounces of simple syrup. We're going to squeeze in our lemon. And again, this is what is gonna make that sour, sour. And our bitters if we've got it. And again, this is totally up to you and how much you want to put in. I do usually two or three dashes there for one cocktail. And that's everything that's going to go in the shaker. So now we're going to do just that. We're going to shake it up. This is the exercise portion of the cocktail. Then we're going to strain that into our cocktail glass. And again, if you've got two in there, we'll distribute that equally. And then the fun part. This is when we're going to add a little Valentine's twist, add a little red that's gonna melt into a little bit of a pink, and we're gonna add a little bit of a dry red wine on top. You wanna pour it kinda of slowly, aim for the ice. It'll kinda of distribute across the top of the cocktail. You wanna make sure it's a dry red or else it will not float. Notice that it's floating right there on top. And what that red wine is gonna do other than provide a really beautiful look, it's gonna give a nice contrast to that tart drink. So here we are, Cupid Sour. I wanna wish everybody a happy Valentine's Day, and I hope you enjoy the cocktail. I hope you enjoy the rest of the dinner. Cheers.